Hello. Welcome to episode 34 of In the Last Remaining Light, Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle. I am your storyteller, Nathan, and I am joined by Cy playing Mary, Katie playing Iris, and Jillian playing Tyr. <clears throat> we last left off with a challenge for supremacy of Mount Rainier, plain and simple. Our young coterie came to secure what's left of important fledglings that were currently the greatest leverage that they still have over the Camarilla. Perhaps the thing that keeps justice from their throats right now. They've secured what they think is probably the most important one. Maybe because they like them. Maybe because they're cold calculating bitches. Who knows? <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's really calculating until after the fact. Like, oh yeah, this helps actually. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this was on purpose. <laughs> In any case, Michael, the Venture Primogen's child, is currently sitting in the back of a very beaten up pickup truck that is intended to leave the mountain. At the summit, the rest of the fledglings gather, along with um, the cursed and ill-fated Martin. <laughs> oh no. Well, he's not with us. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> Not the, our fault if something happens. The last witness to <clears throat> any deeds that may have been undertaken by less scrupulous members of the Camarilla, the La Sombra. And up on that mountaintop, a predator drone reigns supreme challenged only by Grovers. <clears throat> and that is all that we know of the fate of Martin and the fledglings. But here on the road that south, out on the mountain, the good fortune of not encountering Grovers means that you encountered the Grovers Hmm. Keeper? I am my Grover's Keeper. Anyways. <laughs> oh no. Twitter worthy. <clears throat> Ursula, a true monster, the Nosferatu Primogen, driving her children to the summit, noticed a fleeing pickup truck full of people she doesn't like. <clears throat> That's a good, good assessment, yeah. Doesn't like? <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. You don't even know me. Yeah, like, you don't know that. Uh, she knows us. <laughs> yeah. She turned and saw the pickup truck and recognized mm. Iris, the uh, crappy asshole that unloaded an assault rifle into her, and <laughs> Tyr, the only person who's challenged her to an arm wrestling match in quite some time. Hey. Um, and she also noted Mary in the shotgun seat and thought, oh, she looks like a nice person. I'll aim this flaming tree trunk at the driver's side. See, so kind. There's hope for me and Earth alone. I was yeah. there. I love this friendship. Like, you got it. The truck has a near collision with the flaming tree and the confrontation with Ursula begins. A wounded Jessica and Tear dismount the truck to deal with the threat. Uh, Iris regains control of the vehicle and mm. Mary tries to keep the younger kindred calm. And that's where we leave off. 
We're still in combat. Yeah. We left mid combat. I had to keep notes. I hated it. <laughs> so, what would you like to do, Mary? Would you like to stay on this mountain? <laughs> well, that's Iris's choice, right? You're driving <laughs> the truck. I'm well, in I the mean, driver's seat. <laughs> You don't always wait for people to make the right decision, do you, Mary? Well, <laughs> I shall jump out of the back. Where? How far away are they? <clears throat> Perhaps 15, 20 feet away. Uh, Jessica okay. has uh, Ursula pinned up against the side of the mountain. Uh, Tear approaches. I'm going to, oh, you're approaching. I'm all, I'll also approach. Hell yeah. I'm going to say, uh, I'll walk up to them. Ursula spin on the wall. I need to get her gaze. I will say, Ursula. You don't need her gaze. Oh, I do for, for eyes of the serpent. Oh, okay. Um, they drone bombed your kid. <laughs> Up in the mountain. I just want to know if she cares, honestly. <laughs> yeah, let's see how she reacts, but also Does she I like this? That's her case. <laughs> is she invested? Well, is she invested in the Grover? Maybe not, but Martin. But Martin, maybe. The Martin. The, the, the Martin. child. You know who I'm talking about. Um, okay. Oh my god, does she even talk? She said words she at us once. <laughs> she is she is currently um in in a wrestling match. Um and but there is not no hope. That is a very piercing comment. We shall let the dice decide. And when I say that, hopefully she like at least glances. I mean the moment she glances at me, I will I okay. serpent her. All right. All right, that is definitely keyed up. Uh Iris, God. what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to try and find one of those rifles because it doesn't seem like we're leaving. <laughs> she wants her. to leave, but she can't leave without these two. <laughs> so I'm going to look for one of the fancy rifles that I know at least hurts Ursula a little bit. <laughs> Uh, they are the bag clatters around in the back seat. Oh, nice! I need that. I need that bag. Um, you can, you can, uh, get the bag, get a rifle. There is, in fact, no glass in the rear of the cab anymore. Oh, um, perfect. So you could feasibly shoot out the back and see Ursula. That would be right. difficult, however. As I'll I'll get out of the car, just be somewhat near the the door to get back in. Are you gonna Are you gonna take your time with this, or do you want to try and get a shot off? No, I'm waiting to see if the other two actually start attacking or not. So I'm okay. not until the, they do. There is there is an active wrestling match between Jessica and Ursula. Uh, right I don't now. care what Jessica does. <laughs> okay, all right. That's all. That's on her. Yeah, that's none of our business. <laughs> <laughs> but if Tear gets involved, then it's my business. So Tear, are you going to get involved? Oh, it's about to be your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I shall now walk through all the things I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, first off, Tear is 100% going over to engage. Uh, Jessica told them to leave. That's stupid. We're not doing that. Um, but just like the strange like hair growths on her hands and like the elongation of her fingers, she finds sickening. 
and um, doesn't think that they're appropriate for fighting. So she's going to grab her fingers and try to push them back to the original length on one hand. And the bone snaps near the knuckle and is going to pop out like its own, um, like just a new piece, like bone spurs, just slightly hooked uh, as I activate feral weapons, baby. Just on this hand, on the punch in hand. Would you like Rouse checks now? Because I just plan to go punch the shit out of her now. So, now Rouse, are you are you doubling up and using prowess as well as this? Can I roll first and see how I do on the first roll? Oh, indeed. Okay, then I'm going to, if I don't fail my hunger roll, I'm also going to do uh, prowess. Okay. Would you like those now, Nathan? Yes, go ahead. Perfect. Uh, that's a fail. Um, but what if I try anyways? <laughs> I can't do anything without frenzying. <laughs> I just want to do stuff. Um, I'm going to hold off half a second. Just feral weapons. Okay. And one other question, um, yeah, yeah. when you say you are going to engage, are you specifically trying to hurt Ursula or just restrain her? It looks like Jessica's doing that, and that's great. Um, I am here to kill Ursula. Um, I'm here to hurt her. Not your mountain, Ursula. <laughs> Climbing I mean... your mountain. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, if we have to leave, we have to leave. But I'm here to hurt her. She, she hurt me very badly. She did. Okay. Is that good enough of a re... Okay. She put me in torpor. It's not very nice. Well, when you put her on torpor, then we can, like, start yeah, actually yeah. talking to her. Yeah. Would you like me to throw hands, Nathan? Um. First, I think I'd like to start with Mary. Perfect. I'll have my dice ready. Um, okay. Uh, would you give me um, manipulation and um, it's not really persuasion. Persuasion? <clears throat> yeah, I think it is persuasion. Yeah. I mean, I'm not lying, so... So I have two successes. <laughs> if I had no successes, this would be a bestial failure. But Ooh, so I, do close. Close. <laughs> I don't want to roll because like I, I have used so much willpower. Well, um, your you can tell that your words <clears throat> hit her misshapen and bat-like uh, ears. Bat-like? Uh, they're very pointed. Um, and uh, uh, why don't you uh, go ahead and make me a uh, wits awareness check. I'm gonna sow doubts into her mind. Actually, uh, actually, I'm sorry. Make that intelligence awareness. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Ooh. That's well. That's just the same. So, one success. <laughs> Which also would be a beast of fear. Ooh, today's the day. We're succeeding. But we're succeeding. We day. have one. <laughs> um. Well, okay. I'll give you this. Uh. That that thing that massive drone that maimed Jessica and, uh, and, and uh, murdered uh, what was left of Diana. Uh, it 
judging by how fast it was going in coming back around, it should be right on top of you and the summit right now. You look up and you're down into the tree line, so it would be a little bit harder for it to locate you. But anybody up on the summit is totally fair game. Grovers, fledglings, anyone else. And you Are get these? the idea that maybe maybe Ursula knows that too. Hmm. Okay. Um, but she mm. she snarls and continues to wrestle with Jessica. Um, and I think I'm going to skip to that. Um, who would like to roll for Jessica? I, I'd like to. Here, roll you should roll for Jessica. Yeah, I'd like There's to. There's no roll. other option. <laughs> You have wow. to. All right. Jessica rolls nine total dice right now. Ooh. That's so many. Ooh. Okay. We got a crit in here, boys. Jessica's better than all of us. Um, hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh, that was a lot of dice. <laughs> it's like they're old or something. Oh, here's another one. Shit. Um, nine. Put all these right here just in case she rolls again. Um, Jessica is um, wrapped around Ursula's waist and she's lifted up the the hulk of Ursula just up underneath her seat and is just pinning her into the um, into the rock and you can see Jessica's feet just churn um, just continuing to drive just to keep her in place um, and Ursula fights like a wild animal um, for a moment and then seems to gather herself and looking down at Jessica's back, she drops a massive pointed elbow right into Jessica's left shoulder and you hear an absolutely sickening crunch. Ooh as Jessica is driven into the ground. Um, it is an explosion of meat. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nine successes and she exploded. <laughs> One of them a crit and she exploded. <laughs> Bad day. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta get a one punch in. <laughs> well, so that means that you are free to do what you do best here. Can I serpent eyes this this Ursula? Have I, I I have have I failed to get her gaze at all? You've you've failed to get her gaze. Okay. Well good luck to her. No yeah. problem. Um I'm going to hold on to that last hunger so that I can do one of the damage reducers, I think. Um, I'm going to roll. I'm going to use a willpower. Two mm -hmm. sessions, the thing's over. We use willpower now. I have to be able... <laughs> You have to hit her at least once. I have to be able to do better. <laughs> okay. 
feel sad after Jessica now. Five successes. <laughs> And then plus two damage for the feral weapons. Uh, superficial damage is not halved. So seven total. Man, if I had prowess, uh, then another three damage. Oh, <laughs> now I'm mad about it. <laughs> Um, Ursula is completely focused on on Jessica and you are able to just cold cock her with with your left hand um, the hook connects with the side of her jaw and just plows straight through a row of pointy teeth uh you can feel the pop of her jaw snapping loose as you follow through. Um, her face is pretty ruined by that. And you were a little bit stuck in there. <laughs> hey. No biting. At least she can't bite you. It's not really a problem yet, but <laughs> your fist definitely remained attached to her face. Yeah, um, I understand what being attached to Ursula entails. <laughs> We've been this, here before. Familiar. I feel like this is almost exactly what happened last time, but I have less bullet holes in me. So that's something. Um, and Kate. So, uh, you grab a rifle um, Martin fumbles in the or uh, Michael fumbles in the back seat yes, Michael. trying to he, he's trying to push like like clips into your hand because it's spilled just back there you guys have been in and out of cars this stuff is in a complete disarray um, bag. <laughs> but after a few moments you manage to hop out of the truck and load the weapon and level it at the group. At this point, Jessica and Tyr and Ursula are all one creature. Mm. That's not to say you can't shoot Ursula. You can. It's just dangerous. It's, it's dangerous. <laughs> Knowing my skills, would I hit Tyr? <laughs> you didn't hit me last time. This is true. Last time I shot the gun so well, <laughs> and it was the same thing. <laughs> it's exactly the same. <laughs> so. And I could take a hit of the gun at this moment, and then maybe nothing else, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You know, I'm going to try. I want this fight done. <laughs> I want us off the mountain. mountain. <laughs> so she's gonna try to shoot Ursula. Great. <laughs> All right. Um, so at this, effectively, Ursula has cover. Mm. Um, and that is negative two dice. Cool. Can you like sprint behind and like? Shoot her from behind or something. I don't know if it'd be behind since so she's you back up against a mountain. I could probably oh. try to go. I could go up the mountain. Ooh. <laughs> Possibly oh. and shoot, from, shoot above. Her from above. Look, you have I can there. I you can gotta, run fast. And I do have traversal, so I don't have to go all the way around. I can just go straight for the mountain wall. Let's, that's my new plan. I'd like to try to shoot her from above. It's slightly less dangerous. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I think it's just dexterity athletics. And do you, do you owe a rouse Possible check for using like dropity, dropity, or rockety, um, rockety on this? I do. I get hungrier. Yes. Hey. 
I love it. Dex Athletics. It's fine. Only most of the dice are hunger dice. That's how I'm doing right now. <laughs> Uh, a messy crit. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> so it's four. Okay. Um. Uh, Iris or uh, Tear, you hear the car door shut behind you. Uh, for the truck. And you can feel someone moving around back there. You know, you can, you've heard Mary say something. It kind of just all got tunnel visioned out. Mm -hmm. But in in a rush of of trailing purple hair, uh, you see Iris sprinting with a rifle straight into the rock face. <laughs> when she gets there. <laughs> Instead of face planting into it, it's it's as if gravity just changes its orientation for her. She does a matrix. Yeah. She runs to the top of this bluff that Jessica and Ursula are fighting underneath, uh, aims the rifle directly down, and opens fire. Um, Tyr, you want to be even or odd? I hate this. Even. <laughs> I do this to the people I don't like. <laughs> I have to have a number now. There we go. <laughs> the sound of that rifle is is clean and efficient like it was built to be those bright red rounds shoot down into the melee below uh most of them go right through um the top of ursula's shoulder um and into her hulking frame uh a few stray onto jessica <laughs> well, you know, if if someone had to get hit, I'll pick her up in a minute. <laughs> <Not I mean>, better. <laughs> she's just a pile of flesh at this point, so <laughs> yeah. Jessica is not doing well. Um, <laughs> Ursula's Ursula's fist uh, obliterated a, a third of her body. It's still it's still it's like like pounded meat. Mm. Mm. Um. Clearly, all of the bones that were part of her shoulder and upper arm are shattered. Uh, and and that bright red round just <laughs> tore into the other side of her body. Oops. It, <laughs> both Ursula and Jessica sizzle just a little bit from the heat of it. Mm. Too excited about Ursula gets hurt too. Okay, we come to the top of the round. Um, Mary, what would you like to do? I have to try to catch her gaze again. Okay, that's yeah, you can step like directly in front of her into the into murder Would that range. Be good for Iris. I think it's gonna be bad for Iris. Um but I'm I, up top, it's fine. I'll do it. I'm gonna okay. directly step right in front of her face. Okay. Millie eyes. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'd like to eyes of the serpent her. Okay, uh, for sure. Um, Iris, what would you like to do? Oh, I'm gonna keep shooting her. 
bit more carefully since I'm yeah, already it, in my it's spine. Spot. Yeah. I, I, I it's, a, it's just a few bullets. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many people to hit now. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Well, but you see, I don't have to run and quickly turn the gun around and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm already there. Yeah. So, and I, I said negative two dice recover. You are not taking that penalty anymore. Yeah. Because you're shooting down. Right. So you didn't you didn't penalize yourself last time, did you? No, that's why I okay. changed my okay. idea. Cool. All right. Um. Okay. So eyes of the serpent, murder with gun, and with tear. Gun. I am going to continue on my war path of just trying to punch really hard, um, and I'm going to tell Jasper to back arm. the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> all right, we are going to kick things off with Eyes of the Serpent. This better yeah. work. I'm going to throw everything I <laughs> just tirading across the screen for the rest of the session. <laughs> what is the what is the uh, the resisting traits for Eyes of the Serpent? I'm sorry. Um, wits plus composure. Okay. All right. Count this. Six successes. Ooh. She could. It's a lot. Oh, she will be burning a willpower for this one. Ooh. She don't want to listen to you. Look at me. <laughs> Notice me. Wait a minute. Does does I, does Eyes of the Serpent work on Kindred? It does. Um, oh, for yeah. mortals, it's automatic, but for Kindred, oh okay, they, oh, right. yeah. I remember there was a clause about that, but okay. Yeah, you, um, you get an post roll. Yeah. Um, you catch her gaze. Uh, Iris, from your perspective, uh, you see. Uh, looking down at uh, Ursula and Mary. Mary thrusts her face directly next to the snapping jaws of Ursula as they work around. No more. She has no more jaw. It's snapping. Yeah. So it is. It is um, still there. It is. Uh, not functioning, but it's kind of it. Like if you broke a a snake's jaw, the panic that would still be animating the muscles around it. Think of that. Still spooky. Great. It does not. You are correct in saying that it is not a. It is not functioning at at normal capacity. <clears throat> um. Uh, and throughout all of this, Ursula's head, looking down, you could see it uh, wildly cast about, her gaze darting from Jessica to Tear, uh, and back and forth. Now it locks onto Mary's eyes and snaps in place. Their two heads form a straight line vector. All right. If any, I I don't know how long I can hold this. So if you're gonna do something, prepare for it and go all at once, to at the same time. Everybody team up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just round it up and. Yeah. Can I change my plan because Mary's doing this? Um. It's not by a lot. Just a little bit. Uh. Yeah. Yes. The answer to that question is yes. Okay, cool. But not always. <laughs> <laughs> she told me to prepare. <laughs> Thank you. I was already being careful, so I'll consider it. Be like, yeah, I, I was already doing that. Yeah, I'm just changing from hand to mouth. 
Um, that's Good. what I'm going to go for. If I have a chance at it, now's the chance. <laughs> right. <laughs> While she is distracted. <laughs> It's only fair she bit me that one time, so I feel like it's, mm. it, it makes it even. Um, okay, go, I mean, absolutely. Um, let's do Iris first. Okay. Get that out of the way. Do some shooting. <laughs> You could just walk right up to her. Well, climb down to her and just shoot her wherever you want. I already did all the effort of climbing. I'm already up here. I just got up here. You, you, you're go, you, you intend to shoot her, right? Harris? Yeah. I'm not Please. climbing yeah. down. Yeah, yeah go, ahead, go ahead and make the, the firearms roll. And this is uh, firearms. This is firearms composure, actually. Oof. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. When things slow down and, and they're tense, it's it's definitely yeah, composure. yeah. It's pretty bad. Three of these four dice are hunger dice. So. God, if that's a BCO. These. Okay. Let's just see. No, that's just a straight up zero. Uh, <laughs> oh okay. my god. Zero is fine. It's not a B skill failure. Zero doesn't feel fine to me at this point. <laughs> I mean, zero is great and I accept it. Cool. <laughs> Mary's like, focus, and you're just like, I'll oh, focus in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Iris, uh, you, uh, you, you squeeze the trigger and nothing happens. Ooh. And it takes you a moment to realize that the bolt is locked to the rear. There were only a few rounds left in this clip. Um, thankfully, your good buddy, Michael, gave me handed so you an extra. Handed you the final clip that remains for this. Next time, next time. I'll help next time, guys. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> um, let's do Jessica and we'll end. Um, Jessica, uh, she stands up. Good for her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she can still stand. I'm I'm shocked. Right. It's only the arms. <laughs> she has legs. She uh, takes the sleeve of her jacket and pushes it across her face, um, and. Kind of in your peripheral vision, Mary, there was this pool of vitae underneath where uh, Ursula had just shattered her shoulder. It seems to seep up into her right leg. Her shoulder uh, inflates and cracks and is whole again. What? What is that? I have never I've never read a power like that. There's a there's a healing ability. I know that. For for the beefy boys. It looks to be as uncomfortable as it was before, but it is now functional again. Mm. I'll give you that much of a hint. This lizard analogy is really working that you gave Mary. She double lizarded this night. 
<laughs> Can you triple lizard? We'll find out. Um, she, uh, she reaches out towards, uh, towards Ursula, um, at the same time as Tyr. She's not really taking commands at this point, not out of belligerence, just sheer tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead oh. and make your bite attack, Tyr. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, is that just the thing I'm good at? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's brawl strength. Cool. That's what I'm good at. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I really wish I could, you know, do prowess and rouse the blood and do all those cool things. <laughs> okay. So is it still technically a messy critical if it's both on hunger dice? Yes. Okay. I didn't know if that was something special. Um, no. um, um, do I want to use a willpower to just roll one dice? No. Um, so with a messy crit, six. Okay. Um, you chop down. A uh, brutal feed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, time to rock her shit if possible. Cost is free. <laughs> Can you imagine if Ursula and Billy were? <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible combo! Honestly, oh, they would balance each other out though. I don't They're plan gonna... to diablerize her. I plan to, to, to probably murder her. <laughs> Just the normal old fashioned murder. Well, right. I can't stop. Well, I can't stop you right no, now. You so no, we can. can. Y'all can try. <laughs> I just no. need to get rid of this hunger and Ursula, you know? And it's two birds, one stone. Gosh. I could do some, get some healing from this. Yeah, I'm just like, I'd love to hear everybody get in here. <laughs> everybody gather around. So you feed on Ursula mm -hmm. at two dots at a time. Okay. So you gain two. Um. Unfortunately, you uh, you reach up to grab Ursula, and you are supremely successful because she's completely stationary. Mm -hmm. um, but you drive her to the right, breaking Mary's gaze. Ah, uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I mean, Mary. When you do take like an aggressive, I think that we ruled out like. It does break if you take an aggressive action, and even if the gaze is. I thought that was the, the that was the exception about gaze that it actually could do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Normal right. dominate does not. That's normal that's dominate right. would not be feasible in this circumstance. Gaze is right. special. Okay. Well, I'm gonna like skedaddle. Uh, as soon as it's my turn, right? <laughs> Bye. And I helped. <laughs> Two dots. Get rid of two of these hunger. Um. Oh, now I can do things. This is great. Things are looking up. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, let's let we'll, we'll we'll keep going around. Um, uh, you would like to skedaddle? I I would. Um, I am still in like yeah. I I think I'm like 
you're gonna hop out of there. Like I, I gave you one. I gave you your chance. So, I, I, you, and I took it. Thank you. you took it. Yeah. So I don't want to be injured. I'm, I'm getting out of there. I'm gonna run back to the truck. And well, on the way there, like look at the sky and see. I'm not the best at seeing, but yeah. Um, uh, assess the situ Is the fire like getting worse? Or is oh, indeed, that's that's what they do. The <laughs> Damn. Um, we need fire extinguishers next time. It's on my shopping list. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Iris, what would you like to do? Uh, well, we're still fighting her, and I still have bullets. So. <laughs> It only makes sense. Murder with gun? <laughs> okay. <laughs> one plus one equals two. You're right. Right. I... When I run out of the bullets, then I guess we run back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> to get the second gun full yeah. of bullets. <laughs> <clears throat> Tear, uh, I think, I think that, uh, that uh, you're, you're going to have to pay for the privilege yeah. of getting to decide what to do next. Uh huh? <laughs> uh, well, obviously, um, you have to keep. As soon as 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 Ursula's blood hits your tongue, um, it it changes the way that you think about blood. Mm -hmm. It is the most delicious thing you Do are it ever again. likely to have in your entire existence. It will be extremely difficult to go back to just drinking a mortal asshole in an alleyway that sells drugs after this. It only makes sense. And Billy's in here too. He is. And Billy wants all of that. Lots of friends. All of that blood. Anyways, roll your unspent your power for me. He's like... I start throwing it all around now. Here I we mean, are. Do you, do you really need to if you're going to do it again anyway? I... <laughs> I was you as a... Okay. Zero successes. You latch on um, and you continue to drink. Oh yeah, you're already there. She yeah, I'm even... here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good place and a terrible place to be, you know? There's pros and cons of being right here. Yeah. I think I have this bookmark by now. No! <laughs> no! Oh, <come> no. On. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Billy demands a friend. I'm so lonely in here. We're not. I, we, we, we've not come to the complete threshold yet, but <laughs> I'm alone. But, <laughs> but we definitely need to get this. Um, I feel like there's really no going back. From diablerizing Ursula, we I are not. <laughs> the real issue here is uh, is what Jessica sees and how Jessica reacts to this. Well, Jessica needs to calm the fuck down. Mom, whatever. You have taught me no <laughs> lessons. <laughs> yeah, like it's been a week and you've taught me nothing. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Iris's mom didn't say anything about it. So. No, Catherine seems super chill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with Catherine. Like, yeah, so just don't let anyone know Iris's mom lets us drink. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. She yeah. Said rather just do it around her than like go out and do it recklessly. So <laughs> <laughs> can't you be cool? Um, <laughs> she has something to do. Um, 
Okay, we'll start with Mary then. Um, Mary, you cast your gaze about looking for fires, right? Uh, if there's anything in the sky, I think that's a priority over the fire. Like, this mountain had coming. I don't know if the mountain this did, mountain but... Coming. <laughs> <laughs> um... Mary, uh, at this particular moment, uh, the whole summit of the mountain is rocked with another thunderbolt from the sky. Oh, fuck. What are they doing? Like, what do they think they're doing? I just, okay. Um, everyone can feel it and is aware of it who isn't otherwise pressed to do something at this moment. Um, you look over, uh, one of the kids has jumped into the driver's seat of the truck. Uh, they might, you know, they might be making the command decision to leave the mountain soon. All right, we'll get to that. There is... And you can head. see the fire that was originally started by a stray around. It has grown all over the right-hand side of the road. Mm. Um, it does has not jumped to the other side yet, though. And you can still take the road. It will just be harrowing driving adjacent to the flames as you descend the slope. Uh, okay. And that explosion, I hope, answers your question about what's going on in the sky. Okay. All right. Um, if they're gonna, if someone's at the driver's seat, I just, I'd like to like rush there. Um, yeah. I don't know what else uh, I can do in this short span of time because this is like one second, right? <laughs> um, you can get to the driver's side, um, and, and um, well, you're kind of on your own time now, okay. away away from the wrestling match. The wrestling match is now gonna all right happen sequentially um, while while a conversation brews between you and the truck driver. Um, what do I tell the person? Um. Get, get out of there. Just get out of there. Stay, stay in the back or wherever you came from. This is my seat. <laughs> are you are you putting some oomph behind that? I can if I need to. Okay. Well, I mean, you do or you don't, right? I don't need to at the moment. Okay. You know what? That's yeah, very I, I don't need that's, to. It's very respectful. Okay. I mean, um, yeah. So, uh, I'll take leadership. I'll take intimidate. Uh, you may use um, manipulation or or your charisma if you like. Okay, I'll uh, take. I'm pretty. Charisma. I'm pretty. I'm pretty wide open on that. Okay. Uh, three successes. Mm -hmm. And that's a zero in either intimidation and leadership. Um, the young lady in leggings and a hoodie with that, that brown ponytail, uh, her eyes dart up to you, but her knuckles are just wrapped around that mm -hmm. steering wheel. She can tell like, like she's a child who's been caught. <laughs> she's looking at you like like an authority figure that she fears, but she's just so frozen that she okay. is not moving and complying. Are you good at driving? <laughs> Let's table that for now and continue the rest of the match. So, how's your night? <laughs> Iris, uh, an explosion has rocked the summit. It has. 
tear has been latched on to Ursula for two whole heartbeats now. And tear is a fast drinker. Uh, Jessica is um, has already begun to reach out her left hand for Tear's shoulder. Um, what would you like to do? You may continue shooting. Ursula is still um, she's still not she's still like lucid. Um, Jessica, jeez. <laughs> And then you learn that they were like ex, they were like, they were ex lovers at some point. And like, oh That's gosh. That, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a story. That would be a great story. <laughs> Slowly starts writing notes. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it this ends a- here on this burning side of a mountain. Yeah, no. Is the fire <laughs> getting close to where? I'm at right now. You are on the right side of the road, so it will get to you within the next couple of minutes. But mm. you're living second to second right now, not okay. minute to minute. I, I can I can shoot one more time, I think, before I need to leave this area. And if Jessica's got tear, potentially, <laughs> then I will shoot. At Ursula. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll firearms. A lot of these things, um, they are they are happening completely simultaneously. Yeah, firearms composure again. Yes. Great. We'll see if I remember to load the gun. Who? <laughs> <laughs> One success. Well, uh, go ahead and tell me what it looks like. Gosh. When you take Ursula's last point of aggravated damage. Ooh, oh, damn. Yeah. Oh. I didn't expect her to die. <laughs> it's not die. Like, oh, she might be dead I'm in a minute. Like, she won't be. Oh gosh, you know, she spent a really long time up there. I was just trying to get these bullets into the gun, looking over, seeing tear attack. She's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Gets the bullet in the gun. I'm not gonna do this again, dear. <laughs> I'm not gonna make tear eat another person because of what Ursula does to her. And so she leans over. It manages to aim like near the top of her head. So not like on the side that tear is not kind of reminiscent of when we were using the shotguns and Tommy fell. It's how I'd mm. like Ursula's, you know, that side of her face to look as we shoot these beautiful red bullets. Um, Ursula has been struggling the whole time and as soon as that that hot bright red brown hits the back of her skull she crumples like jfk (laughs) there she goes tear uh uh, tears uh grasp follows her to the ground uh with only jessica to intervene um okay uh so uh-huh. um who wants to roll for jessica and who wants well tear will roll for tear <laughs> who wants to roll who for wants... boys <laughs> oh god you, you you roll for jessica you have to roll for jessica i i can't roll for her again no it, it's got to be one of you two like iris yeah. iris or Ugh. um or mary Oh, some of these aren't hunger dice anymore. I can right? roll for Jessica. I think you should, since you roll successfully more often. 
Okay, so, I mean, I can, if I have to roll 10 dice, it's fine. You have to roll many dice. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I mean, I, we're doing digital rolls, so I don't make Iris have to get like 12 d10s or something. Go oh gosh. Je Jessica rolls 19 dice. Holy so many. <laughs> I would have to re-roll <laughs> dice. What am I even doing here? I'm just, <laughs> what is she doing? Like here. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the top of the fortitude. Yeah. Three. Ooh. Ooh. Um. <laughs> so this is a strength brawl. Is that what's happening? Okay, so I'm gonna roll it now. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Be steel failure. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Gosh. Let me count this. Thirteen successes. Holy fucking shot! <laughs> so many. Five. <laughs> what a beefy bitch. Um. Jessica reaches down and uh, just rips you off of Ursula like a toddler that's misbehaving, being ripped out of a high chair. <laughs> Mom, like, <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> she throws you um, back towards the cliff edge. You skid into the metal guardrail with a clang. Um, Ursula is limp and combat is over? Question mark? <laughs> Listen, you don't go attacking people who get 13s right in front of you, Beach, while you get in fives, Beach. <laughs> what? Um, I'll, I, I'd like to scream at the other, like, we gotta go. Um, cheer you two. Like, because two's like all the way. <laughs> um, let's take, let's take her body with us. Oh God, we gotta carry it. We should leave it in the fire. We should just get rid of it. Tears struggling back up. Now. Like, like, wow, like trying to pull this off. I've been fine. Been fine. I, I look at Jessica and see what she thinks. Uh, I'm gonna start making way. We're just leaving. We're just leaving her. Okay. If that's what Jessica thinks is the best course of action. Last time I this... get somebody a fucking live. <laughs> this is this is how this conflict ends at some point. If we if we kill her, we're just gonna have to keep killing. And keep killing and keep killing. We don't need to kill her. We just take her with us. Whatever whatever box you're in with that thing, you're trapped in there with it, not the other way around. All right. <clears throat> well, we got to go before she puts herself back together then. We still have to get back to town. <sighs> Jessica's um, already climbing into the back of the truck. And she winces. And she sits. I got a place. We'll go there. And we'll go all the way back to Seattle. Okay. 
I, 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 I look at the girl on the driver's seat. Uh, did you hear that? I'll get in the truck. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. She slams uh, the truck in reverse. Um, Tear, are you getting in the back? I don't. Uh, God, there's so many people in the. Are there seats available in the front? There are. I don't know if Tier wants to sit next to Jessica right now. Um, you can feel her gaze follow you the whole way into the cab. Yeah, yeah. Like after you confess that you you they, you do you do it on the same night that you confess your day out. Yeah, there, you I was just trying to win a fight. It was about ten minutes ago. You had this conversation. I know it does a lot of damage. <laughs> I just want to win. <laughs> Uh, but Tyr will not get in the back with Jessica. Okay. If there are seats in, in the same yeah. area as Michael, I'll sit there. Okay. Um, I'm not sitting in a truck bed. Uh, the back's the back is kind of packed with people because mm. Michael, Iris, and Tyr are are in the in the cab's back seat. Mary's riding shotgun. And this frightened young fledgling is hurtling this truck down the mountain. Uh, a wall of flames rising to the right. Has Seattle been getting fires? Is that normal in Seattle? Isn't it's it weird how Seattle? this fire just happened, you know? There's a lot of <laughs> fire recently. Uh, <laughs> Um, she, uh, she's got her foot on the gas and she's exceeding the speed limit. <laughs> um, clearly terrified. Um, I will now roll oh the random drive. God. Gosh. Um, tell her to calm down. Like, you're in front. You you tell him to calm yeah. down. Oh, I'd like to tell him to calm down. Like. <laughs> you, so she doesn't even look at you, Mary. You tell her to calm down, but her eyes are completely fixed on the road ahead. Every curve every straightaway. Um, she takes it like a champ. Wow. We found our um, driver. Oh, we did it, boys. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the truck careens down the mountain. And you're making good time. Which is good, because it must be past 4 a.m. now. Mm. Great. Uh, so just to confirm, uh, she looks over at Mary when you get down the valley into Edom Claw, Black Diamond area. So we're going straight into the back of the base, like through, like, do you want me to get on the highway 18 or you want me to head north to Seattle? I look. I look at Jessica. Um, I don't know how much time we have. Um, Jessica, where should we go tonight? Girl, just get on eighteen. I'll tell you which exit. Uh, you guys get onto uh, eighteen. Which is a raised freeway winding through massive pines. Mm. It takes you um, to another wall of mountains that you recognize as just the edge of the valley. You get off there um, and drive down south on West Valley Road. Uh, 
it's kind of backwoods and industrial dive bars. You probably passed some places you've seen. It's definitely Jessica's country. Um, after a while, she pulls up to the address Jessica gives her. It's a used store, just a massive private storage facility. <clears throat> You pull in through the gate. Uh, Jessica reaches into her pocket and swipes a key card. And it opens. You all look up. And anyone can notice the camera looking down at you. It's common in places like this. Uh, she winds up uh, through the units and... Jessica indicates one. It's big enough for the truck. She hops out. Wordlessly. Not looking at anybody. Um, rolls open the, the metal um, garage door. Makes an awful clanging sound and uh, guides the truck in. It's kind of a tight fit. There's a light inside. Um, but soon you are all uh, encased in concrete. You can all stay in the truck, sleep there, uh, wander about. You have an hour or so left till dawn. <clears throat> Tears out of the truck. There's too many people in the truck. Just, just push yourself out the back window. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else in here other than the truck and us now, I'm assuming. The the kids are still there. Um, they are clinging to this tiny little island of safety. Yeah. They kind of lucked out getting <laughs> getting with this group. I feel like compared to the other yeah. two, they did. <laughs> Gosh, uh, you're muted, Mary. Oh, sorry. I was muted. So we have three <laughs> extra people besides um, Jessica and ourselves. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a lot of us in this storage unit. Yeah. We're all hanging out today. To sleep I, I want to send a text to Bianca, maybe before some place where the signal's not going to cut off. The signal's probably really bad in here, so maybe before we get in here, I'd like yeah, to have Yeah, you, you can... Or can anyone can... Outside. Anyone can open the garage door. It's hand operated. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll go outside and send a text to Bianca mm. or maybe a call. Oh no, I'll send a text. Um, okay. It's actually it's actually locked by a padlock, and many of you will note that that is currently resting inside of Jessica's pocket. Mm -hmm. Um, Jessica, we need to tell. We need to tell Bianca and Catherine what happened, unless they already know. You gonna do that? I can do that. Do you want, maybe you want to talk to Bianca? I don't want any of this bullshit on my phone. All of us oh, now are like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Um. I mean, Diane was there. <sighs> yeah. Not, not really though. Yeah, that was, 
I think we've seen her before. She was, she was at the tower, like hiding under a table or something, a desk. <laughs> I recall her as woman hiding under desk. Hmm. Diana can, she can kind of take over people, walk them around, use them. I mean, I guess it's kind of useful. <clears throat> All right, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk talk to Bianca. They need to know about this. But why? Do you think this is Ventrue? If I had to guess, things maybe went sideways. It doesn't make sense. Why? Why would they? Why would they risk damaging their own children? I mean, for any of the Camarilla, those are Camarilla kindred. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't. I don't. I don't know what happened on that mountain. Uh, you bring up a good point, though. We need to find out. I mean. It almost sounds like it could be it could be FBI, but because I mean that's the only that's the only thing that makes sense right now. It doesn't make sense for them to just go after. Her. Anyway, I'm gonna tell Bianca about it. Let's think about this later. So, um, I'll. Ask her to either open the 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 thing or ask for the key. Uh, sure, you can have the key. It's it locks on the outside though. Oh, it's okay. a storage facility. Right. Okay. Uh, I mean, I I can leave you the key, but uh, I'll I'll, I'll come get you. Okay. It's sundown. And if you're really in a pickle, this thing won't stop all of you. Um, Tear, honey, can we talk for a minute? Mm. <laughs> Tear's been staring at the ceiling all the time. <laughs> no. I was hoping that she wouldn't ask the talk. Yeah. Let's go outside. Tear will follow. I'll watch the children, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll babysit. <laughs> I'll cut to the chase. What the fuck was that? You know when you when you tried to to drink Ursula, saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> she seems shocked at the question. Um, I was trying to win that fight. So we we had talked about your incident mm -hmm. with Mister Walker, mm -hmm. and you indicated to me that. You felt some sort of remorse. Is that still true? Some, some some sort of regret, maybe. Maybe you're not intelligent enough to feel remorse yet, so I'll settle for regret. I don't feel regret for killing Billy. I regret the way maybe I did it. And what do you think the result would be? if you killed Ursula in the same way. I wasn't trying to do the same thing. When, when you were mortal, I can tell that you were around at some point in your life, some decent people. 
that held you accountable. Because you got notions like, oh, I'll just do a thing and be responsible for it. I can tell that. That, of course, you would just use the most effective weapon you have and stop when it doesn't suit you anymore. When you don't need to. And mortals can do that. They can have cage fights. And then the bell rings and they all go to their corners. You're a monster now. Monsters don't hear the bell. They don't hear the ref. They don't even hear anything. They just keep going. Because they're scared. They're hungry. And you're not alone inside that skull of yours anymore. There's something else in there. And it, it most definitely wants to drink Ursula dry. Don't rationalize it for a second. Then what the fuck is the point of me, Jessica? Just what the fuck am I supposed to be? I could do one thing well. And I did have good people and you took them. Now what do I fucking have, Jessica? Tell me what I fucking have. You, you have you have me you have a pack I know you've been alone you have the people you were born with and that's the only thing that that keeps you accountable to the same you you were before it's the only wall you have between you and the beast and I I I understand how much you've lost. But if you can rationalize anything now, you've you've lost everything. You've lost the tear that you were before. I truly am. I'm sorry. I I should have found some shitty teenager that I didn't even like. Turned him, put him in a crate with all the rest of them, and just said goodbye. I tried to do something different. And, and there I go rationalizing. I'm sorry, Tear. Just... If you leave and never come back, just take this one little bit of advice. Don't, don't give an inch to that thing that made you latch on to Ursula. You're here to fight that thing. You want a purpose for the rest of your life? The rest of your nights? That's it. You're here to fight that thing. You made me to fight a war. I'm going to fight a fucking war. They're not going to stop just because we didn't kill Ursula. Nobody's fucking stopping. Just mercy on our end isn't going to do anything. You know what it did? It had... Uh, fucking Jesse attacked me in that bar. That's what mercy has given us so far. It's not working because we're monsters. They don't care that you let them live. 
they're going to show up the next night to kill us. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Uh, Tear's going to go back inside. Get in the back of the truck. Um, after a few moments, the, the garage door rolls shut. The padlock engages for anyone who's listening. And I'm going to let time go through the day. Oh. I'm texting Bianca. Mm, right, of course. <laughs> it's just like everybody pretending like they didn't hear what happened outside. Yeah, it's just like, like everybody being like, like, really quiet about it. Like, I, I picked up all the stuff and put it back in the duffel bag. Well, I was pretending not to listen. Everybody trying to busy themselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, good morning, Bianca heart emoji. <laughs> God. So, um, we were at the mountain with Jessica and Diana's, one of Diana's bodies, and uh, we got drone struck. Um, was it Diana's favorite body? Which one was she wearing? I, I actually don't know. Um, it was the, it was that secretary, the blonde one. Oh, uptight business casual lady. Yeah, that's her. I like her shoes. She looked pretty cool, though, in the mountains before she got, she got blown up. Aw. <laughs> I, don't know why we I tried to get Diana that. some of my blood. <laughs> but I don't think it's making it to her. Oof. Well, let's hope it didn't leave them out. Um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna sleep now. I think we've got Jessica. She's she she had to regrow limbs twice, um, tonight, and we're gonna try to make it back to the Starlight Lounge tomorrow tomorrow night. Awesome. Did you get any of the fledglings? Well, we've got two, and we've got the Ventru kid. Three. Including the Ventru kid. Knew you could do it. See you at sundown. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, sun Heart emoji. emoji. <laughs> And the vampire, the, the non-gendered vampire emoji. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Gender neutral vampire emoji. Yeah. She responds with, with gender neutral vampire emoji. <laughs> it might be a way to like bookend our conversations now. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad your conversation with your mom went well. That's nice. Yeah. That was nice. <laughs> Seems so pleasant. It was all in deck, so no one heard anything. Yeah. <laughs> Just saw you go outside with your phone, the, the usual. So with that, the the sun rises and uh, unconsciousness takes you all. And that's where we're going to take our break. Uh, come see us in 10 minutes after you've got yourself a snack, processed some things, Talk yourself out of some more snacks. No. And then be back in 10 minutes. We'll see you then. Will Power's back. Yeah. <laughs> Will Power's back. Oh, yeah. You sleep in the safety of a container. How nice. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Enjoy your willpower.
Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're comfortable. Because <laughs> no one in this locker is. <laughs> we leave our coterie uh, <clears throat> to sleep away the day in a storage facility. It was, it was too far to get back into Seattle before the sun rose, so they hid away in Jessica's uh, luxurious storage container. Uh, the night falls and all of you are roused. Perhaps a few minutes pass before uh, the garage door uh, rattles, padlock disengages, and the night air rushes in to greet all of you. Jessica is standing there, padlock in hand. I'm going back to the mountain. We'll see what I can find out. How are you going to get back there? I'm taking your truck. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to do walk. it? Are you starting the truck? How? <laughs> How are you even? <laughs> Marcus is coming to pick me up. It'll be a ride. He'll get me close. I'll go the rest of the way on foot. Okay. Um, can you turn on the news before anything else? Because if there was a huge mouth fire, I'm sure. Unless, unless, <laughs> well, the presence or absence of it will tell us some things. Um, Michael leans forward from the back seat of the truck and engages the keys. Um, and it starts expelling carbon dioxide into the small enclosed space mm. full of creatures that do not breathe. Uh, he reaches over and flicks the dial to uh, local FM news. Wildfires broke out today on Mount Rainier. Currently, forest services are embattled. They expect a two to three day endeavor fighting the flames. Oh, no. uh, 300 acres have already been consumed <laughs> near the mountaintop. Uh, approximately 10,000 residents' homes are threatened. 2,000 have already been evacuated. Local investigators well, <laughs> presume that the wildfire was caused by hikers. Yeah. Park Service is questioning everyone yeah. returning from the mountain. Right. Those damn yeah. hikers. Right. <clears throat> anyway. Um, do you think the the others are okay to Jessica. That hit somebody at the summit. And I don't know. I don't know who made it. I don't know who didn't. Maybe there's some stragglers that hid. Got out of the sun somehow. I'm going to try to find them. Okay. All right. Are they, do they know the mountain well? Uh, the band kids probably know it okay. I've had them up there a couple of times. Okay. She's right. of course referring to other gang girl members who mm -hmm. are members of the, the red crew faces. Not too terribly handy in a fight, but 
definitely survive it, survival cockroaches if there ever was. <laughs> Is there some way we can reach you or something? Or will we just talk to the other, like our sires about this? Are you going to send us an owl, something? <laughs> We did hear you mention something about not wanting something on your phone last night. So I feel like we've talked about this before. <laughs> she whips the phone out of her pocket. <laughs> I use this to talk to Bianca, Diana, and Catherine. And that's it. And there's a good reason for that. Everything these things touches goes to shit. It's just a matter of time before some Goombas are kicking in your door. And I don't want this connected to any of my people. I don't want it to lead to them. I don't think you should have phones. Oh. But, I mean... We don't. Like, what are you talking about? Of course you have phones. <laughs> Mary, you I'm just saying, be careful who you call. And this, this phone that talks to Diana and Catherine, Bianca, a lot of people would be interested to listen in on this. And then they'd be interested in whoever else was talking with this set of phones. I don't want your phone numbers to be added to this list. All right. I mean, do you want another phone to talk to us? I kind of I kind of wanted us to maybe exercise a little discipline for a couple months while the inquisition <laughs> finished, you know, killing all the idiots among us. Uh, look, okay, I get it. The whole meetup thing isn't doing it for you. So much happens in one night, Jessica. <laughs> Just last night, we got a dance floor void ball and then drone bomb from the sky and we escaped the mountain and like punch or so much happens in the night okay all right all right i i, I understand special times we can lay low when you know when activity is yeah. actually not when we can afford to like sleep for one whole day or something she and unlocks she unlocks day. the phone um, and hands it to you. If you call this number, I expect that means Jessica, come here now. I'm in mortal peril. I chose to risk this because I'm about to die. That's what your message will insinuate to me. These are okay. that dangerous. Okay, Jessica. I don't think we'll... I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> I'll just think whatever. You exchange uh, numbers? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, I'll just contact Bianca through through Bianca if we need to say something. Sounds like a plan. Uh, are, are, are you all are going back into the city? Yeah. <clears throat> Be careful.
you two and I'm sure you'll let Bianca know as soon as possible how the others are doing. We'll find out soon as well. So, well, my preferred method of talking to Bianca is by owl. So, well, we'll wait for the owl. Splendid. Take care of yourself, dear. You too. Um, she turns to leave. Um, there's a like a like a technician's van uh, waiting for her at the entrance. She gets in it, drives off. And you are free with your busted up truck once again. Uh, I guess let's go. Yeah, let's go. Um, <clears throat> are any of you... What's your names? <laughs> to the other two that we don't know. <laughs> also, now that we're here... Uh, my name's my name is Alice. The girl pops up, and and this is Tori. Okay. Um, are you are any of you like good at like driving? I never thought of myself that way. She responds, but I mean, I I can drive this truck. I guess. I mean, I I I've driven a truck. All my life. I think that's a lot of experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're hired. Sounds like I don't have to drive. Tears gonna get um, instead of the pickup. As long as Look. you don't want to race anywhere, like, sure. Yeah, we're not gonna be racing, but yeah, we we've. I don't want to get into it. Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her we've crashed every car we've owned. Yeah. Don't tell her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make it seem like this is a rare occurrence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make it seem like we don't do this all the time. Um, you all pile into the truck and head north into the city. It's a, a 45 minute hour long drive at this point. There's a little bit of traffic uh, this time of night in the city, but very quickly you're back on Capitol Hill at the Starlet Lounge. Um, Michael, I want to talk to Mike. I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm sorry, but let's talk to Michael. Hey, are are you guys like like the vampires in charge? Did um, you come to get us off the mountain? Well, no. I remember. Like, I remember. I remember. She got us off out of the containers, and he points to Iris. Yeah. Um, I did do but that. We yeah. were. Um, we were there with you. Like, what does Iris have to say to that, though? Oh, she is not listening. She's her <sighs> mind is elsewhere. Focusing on the fact that she single-handedly has put so many people out of their homes and burned down so much of a mountain. <laughs> we need to get more of those bullets. And we need fire extinguishers, too. Mm. Yeah, sounds great. Um, <laughs> I have a shopping list. We're, well, the three of, well, everyone on this truck we were um on the same boat like literally and figuratively we don't know anything about this as much as you well we probably know a little more than you do but when we woke up in the the well we woke up before you well no you woke up the same night because i woke you up yeah 
I I don't remember much from like when Good. we were <laughs> in think, the dark. I think we should keep it that way. Push it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> push, push it down. <laughs> anyway, your your um ventrue. Like, do you know what that means? Do they tell you about like the clans or something? Nobody nobody up on the mountain really I mean the like the adults, I don't know what else to call them, like the lady and all the guys in jackets and stuff. I mean they told me they told me I was a venture and that it wasn't like great. Well, <laughs> honestly, I <laughs> Oh, it sucks to suck. <laughs> I mean, they just said they just said that like my family are like they're kind of like assholes. Well, it's okay because we don't know much either. But that's more than they told me about mine. So you're you're doing good. Yeah. Um. All I need to warn you is uh. Vampires, especially your kind, are like basically can mind control people, and you just should be be careful with that. If they try to look at you or whatever, just try not to lock eyes with vampires as much as possible. You can actually do the same, but. Let's not focus on that right now. I think you want to yeah, draw that to his attention, <laughs> Mary. That's a good idea. <laughs> I think, like, do you think I right, mean I shouldn't try it? Like, I think you want to focus on protecting your mind first. You're young, and you are blood. Do you know what? A, you know, like the person who made you a vampire. You kind of like them by default. Okay, and they can make you probably do stuff that you might not agree with. Okay. So when we meet him, I, I, I've only heard stories about him, but he seems like a, a, a total business mogul. I thought you were going to say an asshole because I feel like that, <laughs> that also covered it. Yeah. I wonder if my mom and dad know him. Like, um, would you, would your mom and dad have any reason to? Oh yeah. They like, they, they my, my dad got elected, uh, appointed to the chamber of commerce. Huh? Do you know a Walter Jackson? If that's the right uh, name. Yeah, that's the name. Okay. <laughs> I'm just making I, it I mean, I, I think, I mean, sometimes my dad takes me to, to like parties and stuff. And I talk to people. I think I've heard that name before. Yeah. Well, that's the yeah. guy. And he just, so he like kidnapped me and put me in a box. Well, yes. That's, yeah, that's a simple way of putting it. <laughs> why, why did he do that? And <clears throat> honestly, I don't know, and I, we really don't know why they chose the people that they chose. Did they tell you, you about present. the prince? Did they talk about the hierarchy shit while you were up in the mountains? Yeah. Or the war? Yeah. I mean, they said things were tense right now. Okay. So the prince asked everybody, like Walter Jackson, to make a kid and then put him in a box. So he did it because he was told to. But, you know, it's kind of being a dick about it. I mean, he picked you. Is he, like, supposed to, like, train me or something? I mean... You would think they do that for us. <laughs> you would think. I, um, you, you, that's what they're supposed to do, but... No, he put you in that plan. box to stay in that box. Yeah, the original plan was we were all gonna just stay in the boxes for a while. 
but we we were also um hijacked our box i looked to the other two that ship we were put in that box but some someone was going to redirect all of us to some place where they would just use us as vampire blood farms i wonder who that was going to be i wonder who mm. whose plan that was <laughs> Tia tries not to pat her chest like she's acknowledging Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who that was, Billy. <laughs> Control yourself. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> um, listen, um, I hate to give you rules. I'm sure they gave you rules in the mountain. Um, we have an apartment we are staying in. Michael, if you need to leave for any reason, ask us first so we can help you. Okay. Are we, like, we're going to go into the city, mm -hmm. though, right? Yep. And, and there's going to be, like, like people. Yeah. Like, uh, like alive people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That seems like a... You might take a field trip with Iris and um, Mary. I feel like mm -hmm. Iris. I feel like you can handle. Yeah, I was like, it's I, one of you guys who's more in that wheelhouse than I am. Like, I could put something a, in the back of the head, but like, I might need someone with me. I'm really injured right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Well, <laughs> how are, are you? Are you still feeling hungry? I, I I'm famished. I don't. All right. Well, we can take care of that tonight, I hope. Yeah. So let's park, get to the apartment, and we'll figure out where we're going to go to get you something to eat. <laughs> I love the idea of Tyr just, like, holding down someone in an alley. And they're just, yeah, like, kicking. Sure. Come here. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Drink up, baby bird. <laughs> I did this for you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I like say, if he wants to do it the cool way, he's welcome to ask me. But you know, <laughs> you know casually talk to people is a little different. The nerd way. And if you want to be a nerd about it, fine, whatever. <laughs> um, the the truck rolls into the parking garage across from the Starlet Lounge. Um, and the whole motley crew gets out. Uh, as usual, the place is just kind of setting up. Doesn't get going until later. Um, but the bouncer on the front door already recognizes, well, at least the three of you. Holds the door open. You guys need anything from inside? Do we have to go talk to Bianca? I'm just asking. I, I could talk to Bianca, but you guys can go ahead to the apartment. If I you love want. not talking to Bianca. I'm gonna be uh, honest. By the way, um, to Alice and Tori, um, did they tell you what you guys were? Oh, uh, uh, we're we're both we're both Bruja. Ooh. Oh. And maybe I'll take a field trip with Alice and Tori. Yeah, there was. I don't know. There was the, there was a couple of Gangrel and Bruja and. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, I'll show them the apartment. Um, maybe you could grab a couple blood bags so we don't yeah. murder anyone. Yeah, I'll, I can get you some blood bags. Yeah. Yeah. How hungry am I? Okay, a little hungry. Moderately hungry. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I have, you know. Like how many blood bags do you guys need, though? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Feeling like a million bucks. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm fine. I mean, my legs are still all like bruised up from when like Jesse attacked me, but it's like, what yeah, about it? that's the that's the real problem. Is I still have my aggravated damage from that. Yeah, experience. She's <laughs> it has superficial damage from the more recent one. Yeah, no, we we got out of that one pretty scot free. I mean, Jessica got the yeah. shit beat out of her, but we're okay. she did. <laughs> we're okay. Um, yeah. So I don't need anything if you're taking a a count. Okay. Well, I I guess we won't be draining the supplies tonight. No, we need some for another day. Yeah. <laughs> we'll need it eventually. <laughs> One of these days. Okay. Um, will you guys go back up to the apartment, I guess? Yeah, all right. <laughs> We're gonna go meet Jorgen. He's like us. Uh, but oh, he's wait. A nerd. Um, oh. One of us should go up and see if Jackie's there before we take them I'm up. okay to go up. Okay. Just in case. Before we send Michael in there? Yeah, you better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll go up. I'll go up first to check the perimeter. Um, you, uh, you go up into the apartment. Uh, it's that same contained space full of curtains, um, cordoning off different rooms. They're all pulled back right now because it's all, they've all just woken up. Mm -hmm. Um, Jackie is uh, using one of the curtain rods as a bullet bar. Mm. Um, yeah, they're and, good. Uh, mm -hmm. and you can see kind of over towards Jorgen's area and the Nosferatu. Um, or, I'm sorry. Uh, they're gone now. Jorgen's a, they're gone, yeah. Uh, Jorgen's area. Um, he's kind of got a bunch of books spread out over a bed that he's not using. Hmm. Jackie, Jorgen. Hey, Jackie, like, let's go. How'd it go? I'm glad oh, you're okay. Set, we set a mountain on fire. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was you? Yeah, we set a fucking mountain on fire. Like, not on purpose, but oh, the mountain's on fire nonetheless. Just keeping it real. <laughs> no reason to lie about it. Um, I mean, it wasn't really them, right? Like, it's 50-50. It, it was a shared effort. Girl. I think yeah. both things set the mountain on fire. <laughs> We're partially responsible. Oh. Anyways, we have some new people coming up. I think we're going to have them take a walk around the block before they come up here. Um, but, Jorgen, do I have a fucking book for you? Uh, yeah, more? Oh, yeah, this one, I think, this one feels pretty special. I'm going to go in the duffel bag and take out uh, Diana's notebook. I stole this from Diana. Here you go. Um, you hand it to him and it's, it's like a, it, it's, it's unlike any of the like medieval looking tomes mm -hmm. that you see here. It is a proper 21st century lab notebook, um, spiral bound. You hand it to, uh, Jorgen, uh, Okay. Uh, does she she give you this? Well, I met her in a fake body, and that fake body exploded, and the book was next to a fire, and I grabbed it before it caught on fire. So sure, she gave it to me. Oh. <laughs> okay. You said fake, fake, fake body. Yeah, it seems she can like put, like, control people like little puppets, put her consciousness in them. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but that body exploded. I don't feel very good about it because it was just 
It was like that woman who was hiding under the desk, the secretary lady. Oh. She's just been walking her body around for what, over a week? I wonder if she says how to do that in here. Um, well, it's yours, and I don't judge you for whatever you decide to do with it. Okay. Um, maybe I maybe I just burn it. Yeah. Um, we'll give it back to her later. She doesn't need it right now. Okay. She... <laughs> he flips through it. Uh, yes, yeah, this is... Uh, she has she has daily rituals and she keeps notes on them. Uh, not, not, not a diary writer, Diana. I don't see her as a diary person. I feel like you have to have feelings for diaries, you know. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, the least I could do. Um, Jackie, how are you doing? You look good. I'm doing good. Uh, is there, is there any word on the whole, like, like FBI thing? Actually, besides setting a mountain on fire, I feel like we've made progress. Um, we're about to, like, summon a vampire council, which is where they will talk about the FBI thing and then do the thing about it. All right. Okay. Is it, can go. I, can I help? Is there anything you need? Like, uh, like during the day or I'm. Yeah, I will get back to you. I cannot think of anything at this time. Hey, okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a run and then I'm gonna go to sleep so I can wake up early. If you think of anything, I'll be awake before dawn. Okay. I'll walk you down. Okay. Just so our new friends know who you are. Um, she bangs out uh, another set of, of pull-ups uh, and then grabs a hoodie, throws it on and joins you going outside. Yeah. Uh, Jackie's upstairs. She's right here. Everyone, this is Jackie. She's our friend. Hey. <laughs> nice um, to meet you all. Yeah, Michael, Alice, and Tori. Sheepish introductions are exchanged uh michael kind of mutters his name but hangs back the other two don't seem to have a problem mm -hmm. all right she's our roommate be nice oh okay uh alice and tori nod um Michael returns your gaze like he understands. Yeah, I'm talking directly mm -hmm. to Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enjoy your jog. Hey, see you around. Oh, we should probably go on that field trip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we, we were going to wait upstairs for Mary first or no? Um... That's up to you guys. I mean, the, I mean, if you're gonna feed Michael, it's mostly Iris's purview, I think. Yeah, and I can be there, off to the side, <laughs> to wrench people off. Yeah, I, guys, just be cool about it. Ah, uh, that means we have to do alley feeding, and that's not good. You guys don't do have to do alley feeding, right? You could just. Teach him how to be cute or whatever you do. That's weird. He's like, how old are you? Like <laughs> 16. <laughs> Don't teach him the cute thing. I take it back. <laughs> take it back. He's going to do alley feeding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could teach him to be like innocent and, you know, like unassuming. Yeah. Just do an unassuming bite. It's, uh, not what I'm concerned about. It's if the pulling off has to happen. Yeah. So... Inside is not smart. Then, God, I really, I'm, I don't like being present for the eating of the homeless thing. <sighs> yeah. 
but I will. If we can go and I don't know this area that well. We've really only gone to this one building. <laughs> yeah, we don't go a lot of places here, but that's because it's like Camarilla territory and we have to be chill about shit, right? Alley feeding actually might be the best idea then. Yeah. I'll stand at the exit of the alley. Um, Alice and Tori, you're welcome to come along. You're also welcome to go upstairs, take a bed. Say hi to Jorgen. Yeah, I think I think we'll check out the apartment. Cool. That's Makes probably sense. better. Yeah, less people for, for, for me to watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back. I'm not gonna tell you not to leave, but you probably shouldn't, but not your you know, your mom, so Okay, sounds good. Thanks, thanks for putting us up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is, are, are you, I, I, I know she was in the car and I heard like the talking, like you guys are cool with Jessica, right? Cause she was the one who was taking care of us and I don't want to like walk into the middle of something. Jessica and I are fine. Same side. Okay. okay cool. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're friends with her. Kind of yeah, way. I'm. I Jessica and I have similar goals. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get let's get Michael set up. Mm -hmm. I don't like that everybody <laughs> fucking heard all my business. <laughs> I mean, I know I was yelling, but everybody in my <laughs> Um, you two and Michael head off. Mary, you, you were headed into the Starlet Lounge, right? I am, yeah. Okay. I need to see Bianca. Well, let's do, let's do Michael real quick, and then we'll... we'll oh, you're doing Bianca. it now. We'll hit the Bianca scene hard. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> hit the ground running. Um... You two ladies have a 16-year-old boy in tow on Capitol Hill. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Josh. Mm. He's like a younger brother or something. It definitely looks yeah. normal. We yeah. all look very normal together. <laughs> definitely. Uh, Iris is dressed well. Like Dressed well, but I don't look good anymore. <laughs> Um, <laughs> struggling I, physically, but still pretty I have so much damage. <laughs> Got a limp. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it though. <laughs> um, I've never been on these these alley feeding excursions, so yeah, it was really weird. weird. Yeah. I yeah, didn't I participate in the alley it. feeding either. I mean, technically, I did feed in an alley, but it like you guys talked about like giving like Taco Bell to people and like we it did. seemed like a transaction. Uh, so I don't know, but I'll follow you. Let's just we'll just find someone. Yeah. There's not a Taco Bell near here. We're not doing that. <laughs> you guys walked through Capitol Hill and. The, the trendy restaurants are in full swing. Walk down Pine, and the place is pretty packed. Like, there's a lot of people. Um, the big challenge here is going to be, like, getting someone alone or redirecting attention. Mm -hmm. um, so that Michael can have his moment. Because there's just so many fucking people here. There is. Are there, there, there's alleys though that we could take someone down. <laughs> I feel like no offense, Iris. I feel like you'd be really good at luring somebody into an alley. Yeah, you mean that with the <laughs> utmost respect. <laughs> uh, 
Michael, do you like, do you have a preference? Like, do I have to get you a guy or a girl? What, what do you want? Tie, no tie, what's up? I don't know, like, uh, like, it, if they, like, smell nice, that'd be good. I think and he likes nice, rich people. Nice smell. I That's just have a feeling. <laughs> Listen, we all have particular taste now. Uh. <laughs> it's not... I have to look for someone that smells nice. That means they can't be homeless. That's true. You have to find somebody to Gosh. lure down an alley. I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to talk about what happened out here on the street, but like, what what Mary gave me, like, wherever that came from. Mm. I don't know what she gave you exactly. It was just a piece of flesh. So. <laughs> Oh, was it a piece of um, fake Diana? <laughs> it was yeah, a piece I, of fake. It was a piece of fake Diana. I'm uh, not sure you... if that was like human or not. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, like middle to upper class is what we're doing here. It's, right, it's upper middle class. <sighs> All right, I'll start looking for you know people that are in a line or something that are by themselves and not with a bunch of people. Because. Mm -hmm. Don't need to take people from their friends. Yeah. Um it's having a lonely night. Roll roll me some streetwise and charisma, Iris. Okay. Let's see. I'm not terrible at streetwise. I have so many hunger dice. Yeah, I'm sorry. Problem. This is this is an open dice roll. It doesn't I forgot doesn't what the work. other part was. Charisma. <laughs> Ooh, I got in good. Should have waited for like some blood bags. I should have, but you know, Jackie was around, and that made it yeah. even more necessary. We can't hurt Jackie yet. I got three successes. There's no way I'm gonna do better than that. So in this long, uh, or not long, this street of. Um, of trendy restaurants, um, all many of them are doing very well. Some of them quite well, and one of them has a line around the block and into an alleyway. Hmm, interesting. Ooh. Perfect. Uh, at the at the back of the line, there are people. Uh, uh, a small group of of. Mm, Late twenties men, polo shirts, slacks. Right. They smell like Axe body spray. <laughs> smell like like Axe. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't smell nice at all. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Like that's that pretty makes... gross. <laughs> But well, Michael is sixteen. He probably actually thinks that's a good smell. Yeah, he might Never be feeling that. <laughs> mm. yeah. How many people are in the group? Would you say of the polo men? It seems to be that there's there's about uh, six or seven people. They have formed little clusters. Um, looks looks like a work group. Mm -hmm. Um. Not everybody has a talking partner, though. Um, the guy at the back is just kind of standing, waiting. That poor guy. He's going to make a friend. <laughs> He's about to make a couple friends, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Iris is going to go up to him. <laughs> make a friend. I feel so bad for these poor people. <laughs> it's so much easier when you're getting attacked by, like, the person and then you bite them, you know? Yeah. That'd so feel okay. <laughs> or Bianca's blood bag. So much. Yeah, nicer. that also feel okay. <laughs> so good luck. Oh thanks. Tear will follow a a bit behind. Um she doesn't want to interfere what is, with the talking bit. What is what is the plan here to uh <laughs> to extract this person into an alleyway where Tear is or <laughs> The muscle. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I want to get him to come, you know, away from the group to where Tyr is, and hopefully Michael will be there too. 
uh, my plan is to tell him that I can get him into the restaurant faster, but it's just going to be us two. He would, he wouldn't be able to go with his friends. Well, okay. That's, this is not a thing that happens to me. Uh, all right. I, it wasn't right. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, go ahead and make a, go ahead and make a charisma roll to seal the deal here, but this is not a hard sell Iris. Charisma. Uh, charisma manipulation. I'm sorry. Uh, charisma and persuasion. Oh, no. We have straight up seduction. What am I doing? Do we? Oh, no. It's gone now. I don't know. No, I don't no more know. seduction in vampire. Um, I have two dice in both manip manipulation or persuasion, so it's the same. All right. Thing. Persuasion's fine. Use awe. Uh, yeah, are you. you are you uh, using that as a thing? If right? I use awe, they're all gonna see. Yeah. Okay. But that's more. I, I that's could Michael. add my. I could add my looks though, right? My two dice. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's a bit more. I always forget about them because they're so much further down. You can you can intimidate them with Dawn. I, I I don't I don't have Dawn yet. Oh, okay. That's in the future. I want Dawn. <laughs> you've got the shadow thing. You've got you've got. Billy. I want more power. <laughs> okay. More you power. Know. No drive. No. <laughs> drive is oh. dumb. Only want power. They only got three successes. Probably enough. Yeah, I don't know. I'm more concerned about how you're gonna conceal Michael feeding on someone. Honestly, you guys are no. down in the alley. Yeah, it's we're gonna be fine. Tears the size of half an alley. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Third of an alley. Uh. So, this guy follows you around the corner. Um, you should have brought. Um, and you get to the the like service entrance of the the restaurant, um, where I presume Tyr and Michael are waiting. Yeah, we were probably told the plan, and yeah. we would follow suit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I'll just walk, I'll play it by ear. Michael, yeah. Michael walks up. To the man and just looks at. Him. So, so you're you're cool with this, oh, right? No, and he no. like, <laughs> and the guys, the guys just like confused. Yeah, he's cool with it, Michael. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, she brought Jorgen for because he has uh, the memory. <laughs> yeah, none of us okay. have All right. a cool skill. <laughs> Michael. Oh, Michael gently grabs the man's wrist and raises it to his mouth. <laughs> Looking at the guy as he bites in, the guy's like, Ow! What? <laughs> what? I don't... Like, he's shocked <laughs> and enthralled and confused at this teenage boy who has bitten into his wrist. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it going this way. <laughs> should have Michael's, seen Michael's face is angelic. Oh, uh, look at him. So oh, sweet. Um, oh, like a cat when they bite you. <laughs> we're just playing. <laughs> we're just playing. Um, is, is this working? Wait, Michael could... Michael can make him forget too, but no one taught him that. Iris, is this how it normally works? <laughs> this seems uh, like a pain in the ass. No, Jorgen can just tell them to forget. Oh, Two no. heartbeats. Ugh. <laughs> You're not here. <laughs> I'm going to wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, for one more four. second. And then we can. Yeah, we'll just we'll get to three. Three heartbeats. Um, 
and then I will pull that sucker right off. <laughs> um. Uh, you, Michael and and Polo guy. We're, we're not going to name guy. it. Yeah. Polo guy. Their eyes are locked throughout the whole thing. Um, they barely see either of you. Mm. Um, a moment ago, he was pretty interested in Iris, but <laughs> this the nice. weirdness and uh, awesomeness of this new experience has completely distracted Polo guy. Um. <clears throat> Here, you're able to just gently place your hand on your the palm of your hand on Michael's forehead and increase pressure until the parasite is removed. The guy kind of just regains his senses. It's like, ow, what you. You fucking bit me. What the? <laughs> what? Just kind of shit. <laughs> no, normally they're just fine with it. <laughs> normally they're just fine with it. Like, Iris, would you like me to handle this, or would you like to handle this? I, I can use I awe wanna... on him. I'll use awe on this guy. <laughs> Is this is this your kid? Like, oh you, shit! Are, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, he tends to bite randomly. It's really <laughs> weird. Yeah. But, okay. I, but you can still get your dinner. That's why we came to the store. Um, Michael. Michael looks at him and says, "You were here for the restaurant, yeah." And the guy looks back at Michael. He goes, yeah, the restaurant. Good job, Michael. Where, where, where are my friends? Where are my friends? I'm just going to point. They're right back around the corner. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Weird. And he just sleeps. Huh. Uh, it was rough at the beginning, I'm not going to lie, but you turned it around, Michael. Yeah, whatever you just did is probably what your type are supposed to be able to use to do this. I don't... I I was just kind of scared, and I just did it like... Like it was the first thing that occurred to me. I, I don't know. I just knew I had to like, get his eyes. Mm -hmm. Good instinct. Uh, I feel, I feel great. Thanks. Okay. Iris, did you need anything? <sighs> Just another guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to. Not, not those guys. No. Yeah. I mean, I can take Michael back if you needed to go like into a place. Probably a good idea. One bag isn't gonna do much good. In the uh, in the interest of time, I would uh, I would prefer to just do a hunting roll real quick. Yep. Iris, yeah, it sounds okay. good to me. Um, go ahead and give me charisma at your looks. Mm -hmm. Um, and let's go with streetwise. Okay. Okay, that's a lot more than I've been getting this today. <laughs> Six. Ooh. Um. <clears throat> uh. Iris, you can choose to be gone for. For for um. For an hour and be all the way back down to one, hunger or. A real quick 15 minutes and just get one point back. No, we're gonna have to do the whole hour because I'm so damaged. Okay. Because it's gonna go right back up. 
<laughs> no, we're not doing anything. Yeah. I'll just keep an eye out while, while Michael and I walk back to the apartment. Um, <clears throat> Tear, uh, Tear, Michael return to the apartment. Iris hunts. It's easy pickings out here on Capitol Hill. Lots of people want to talk to Iris, and Iris wants to talk to lots of people. And there you go. Uh, Mary, you left all of this behind to go into the Starlet Lounge. Uh, Kiko is tending bar, um, kind of cleaning things up, getting them ready. Um, over in a booth, uh, Bianca is sitting and typing away on a laptop. Okay. I'm going to go over to Bianca. Hey. Good evening. Um, I... I don't, I doubt Jessica or Diana have updated you on the rest of the details. Maybe Diana has. Diana was pretty confused and pissed. And she said it was a shit show up there. Um, Jessica's not a talker. Where's Catherine? She's trying to make nice with the prince. Okay. It's it's going. Well, Jessica went back up the mountain to check on the uh, well, if anyone survived. And we have um, three fledgling with us. Yeah, I told you this. Yeah. They're at the, the two of them are at the apartment. The Venture boy is feeding right now or something. Oh, good. Okay. I don't know that. <clears throat> oh, I think that was the plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, I'm glad you're back. Um, anyway. Yeah. What was that? I just don't under... Jessica told us that the Ventru were stalking them in the forest for like a week now or something. Or a couple days. I forgot. But why would they... Why would they burn their children? I mean, well, not just their children, but like the print. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's against the interest of the prince. They're trying to get them back, not kill them. Yeah, I don't. Did you see him? Did you see who got hit up on the side? Well, they tried to target um, <clears throat> Jessica and Diana for sure. That makes sense. But I mean, of course, the, uh, of course, it was probably trying. To, but there was a second strike. I mean, I just find it. I feel un, I, unless I'm wrong, and they actually really hate Jessica and Diana that much. But if I were them, I wouldn't risk doing wanton damage with like collateral damage being the actual product, like the goods that you're trying to get back. But I guess vampires regenerate really well. So, oh yeah, um, and Ursula was there. We we left her there. She was badly damaged. Oh, I was going to take her body with us, but Jessica said it was a bad idea. Oh, most certainly do not bring Ursula here ever under any circumstances. <laughs> well, um, I understand. I understand. Uh, maybe just, you know, politely bump her off if you find yourself in that situation again. 
She moved up the list. She's up on the list of moms. She's at the top. <laughs> now she's number one or two. Not sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> number two. Why not? Okay. Um, well, yeah, maybe they were doing a concerted strike to kill off or at least disable both Jessica and Diana and then come in to nab the, the, the kids. That could have been it. But the Grover were also released. Oh, have you heard about the Grover? Have we told you about the Grover? Yeah, you mentioned the Grovers. <laughs> the Grover also also released, and I don't think they were given instructions to like get the other children or whatever. They're just told to go up the mountain. So that's what Ursula and was you- doing there then, right? Yeah. She must have been like like in charge of the Grovers. I guess, but when we found the Grover, they were kind of on their own. They didn't know where to go. She wasn't leading them. But she did release them, so I don't know. So maybe it's part of a weird Camarilla plan that, I mean, I don't fully understand, but I, I don't know. I think I think that their priority would be getting back the fledglings, and I don't think that they would order a strike on them. Right. It doesn't make sense. For a moment, I thought it was the FBI, and I realized that I hadn't called them. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I'm not going <laughs> to say it. 100 <laughs> say it. <laughs> if, if they retrieved the the fledglings from the mountain we'll know soon okay the prince will likely call an elysium even if we have michael um she counts walter jackson amongst her staunchest allies he may or may not be leveraged by michael who knows well we have his kid i think the plan was to use him as leverage to get Walter Jackson on our side. I Are you I ready to use Michael as leverage? I mean, I don't know how we're, we're going to do it, but why not? Well, the usual way is you threaten to kill him to his parents. That's, that's how you do it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, I'll think about it. Right now, though, Michael does trust uh, most of us over Walter Jackson, who he's never met. But I know that a blood bond it could be pretty strong, so I don't know. Did you know that I unstaked Michael on our first night in the ship? I don't think he was very happy about it. No. Anyway, I'm glad... Yeah. So he was, he was just in a shipping container. Oh yeah, all Between alone. His- can can you can you like cloud your own memory? Is that something that someone can do? I've never heard of anything like that, and I've been around a long time. We'll just get someone else to do it. He's just dealing with trauma. He's just blocking it out. <laughs> it's not a power. It's just a brain thing. Anyway, that's what's happening. I I actually think I know someone who, a human who's met with Walter Jackson recently. Yeah? Who's that? Yeah, but, well, she was deployed by the FBI. Ooh. Anyway, she might know something. I'll see what I can. dangerous friends. So do you. I think you might be my most dangerous friend. (laughs) Aw. Oh, sweet. (laughs) Uh, yeah, it's sweet. Um, 
Well, am I? <laughs> <laughs> if I th thought of Diana as a friend, then no. But yeah. All right. Well, what's the what's the plan for you guys the rest of the night? I've got a place to go. Um, but what are you guys going to be up to tonight? I know Jessica's out there to check on the other fledgling. You seem busy. What's the how's the plan going? Oh. Um, so towards the dawn, we, uh, I intend to have a chat with Catherine. Perhaps you could accompany us. Okay. Um, until then, uh, I have some chores around the house. I'll be doing some routine maintenance on the operation. Okay. Maybe um, I could show you. It might be the kind of thing you'd be interested in. Yeah, yeah. I th that that'd be interesting. Have you heard from the La Sombra? Mm. How are they doing? They are supposed to be dealing with Catherine and the prince and having a nice sit down where everyone becomes polite again. <laughs> oh, sounds like a terrible conversation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I expect I expect uh, Miss Jessie to take her uh, her lump on the wrist, like a good upstanding citizen of the Camarilla should. And I don't think she has any choice. Well, I mean, I think if she proved that night in my club, she can always choose to go ape shit pissing someone else's Cheerios, but you're right. She doesn't really have a choice. I mean, if she wants a good outcome, I don't think that's going to get her that. Well, I'm, I, I need to get some, I need to get some blood a little bit um, and rendezvous with the rest of my friends. All right. Definitely, if you are going to be drinking in this house, you're going to have to start doing some chores. I mean, like what kind? Let's go downstairs. Like okay. I said, I'm doing some routine maintenance. I'll follow her then. Um, the two of you uh, go down the tile hallway and steps into the the old morgue that's beneath here. Um, when you get down there, uh, the bay is empty except for one gurney. Um, on that gurney rests a, uh, a man, but he doesn't look like a patient. He looks like a doctor. Um, he's wearing a white lab coat. Um, and as you approach, you notice that his shirt is unbuttoned. Um, and there is an incision running down the middle of his stomach and chest. Um, Bianca, she, as soon as she got down the stairs, um, she pulled a coat off the rack, threw it over her shoulders, 
pulled some black latex gloves out of the pockets and snapped them on. So, uh, we have several uh, outfits that feed us with patients, and it's important to keep our workforce there um, compliant. Okay. And there are typical ways of doing this that, of course, someone like a venture, like your child Michael up there, and she's holding up her hands kind of like a, like a surgeon, um, not touching anything. Uh, but I have learned a trick or two from a man up the road that kind of makes these things take a little bit longer. Okay. So this is a new unit. Um, he is, uh, he has a practice uh, up in Redmond, servicing uh, a wide variety of upper middle class homes. And we're looking to kind of expand into that demographic. Uh, I mean, it's a good demographic. He's an old established practitioner. Um, we're just going to kind of install the firmware, as it were. Okay. Um, and that goes better when you remove the unnecessary human bits from them. <laughs> she arrives at the table um, and she picks up uh, on kind of the tray next to her this massive set of um, yeah. not massive, they're hand sized of kind of surgical trimmers, surgical scissors. Um, would you would you be dear and and hand me clamps when I ask for them? Um, um okay. The he lays there completely catatonic. Uh, and Is he all right? He's like asleep. What? Oh, he's he's come to. I mean. He will still be mortal, but he's come to the end of his life. Oh. What? What do you mean? Oh, well, I'll, I'll be ready with the clamps. Uh, she pulls back uh, the flap of flesh over his abdomen. Um, and, all right, give me a few. And she uh, starts... You know, uh, clamping them to the side, holding them open, revealing his large intestine, small intestine, and kind of a the whole entourage of liver art. She can even reach up. And she begins um, with the scissors snipping and removing. How does this... Isn't he good? Aren't, aren't you killing him? Oh, he's... Um, like I said, he's come to the end of his typical mortal life. Um, I have prepared him with some measure of vitae. He will continue on as a, a monkey is. Oh. It's a strange word to use, but uh, but that's how you're, we've you're... sustained this operation. Um, if you use traditional venture methods uh, on the mind, they don't take, they don't last. It's easier just to do this. Are you turning him into a vampire, or...? No, 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 no. He will be fairly mindless. Um, it's important to um, kind of enthrall key people underneath him to still run the business, but this will keep him in place, and our commandments to him will uh, remain in force for a much longer duration and greater potency. Um, okay. Um, I, I'm gonna watch, because I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> she finishes snipping up. Um, lastly, uh, she reaches far up to the inside, 
uh, and with a decisive snip of the aorta, pulls out a heart, chucks it into a uh, trash container. All right, um, I'm going to have the guys come in and sew him up. Um, they'll drop him back off at his practice. He should be back to work. Um, I would like to get you, I don't have, Kiko just doesn't have the temperament for this. Um, and we need to expand throughout all of Redmond. So I will need someone to learn this process and maintain it with them. I, um, I'll think about it because I, I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing to these people. Was this man about to die? <laughs> of boredom. <laughs> well, I'll I'll let you know. All right. I, I suppose I, I can give you boring them. jobs, but <clears throat> this is a slice of the real sustenance the ministry provides. You can be powerful in the camera with this. Is this what you sell the other vampires or something? I sell them a stable supply of blood, and this is how I get it. I see. His okay. psychiatric practice funnels mortals here. We drain them, we turn them to his practice. What are what are our tenants again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if our tenants say anything about this. Um, no. Um, <laughs> no. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll. I'll give. I'll think about it. Fine. Go talk to your friends. Don't be a square. Um, <laughs> we don't. Uh, of course, they're like, they're like your wives at this point. So I don't expect you to keep secrets from them. But uh, we don't really talk about our methods outside of the family. So that's all right. Um, I'll keep it to myself. Thanks, dear. Let me know. And she pulls off the gloves. Chucks him in the trash. Okay. And I think that's where we're going to leave it tonight. <laughs> I just put your mom higher up on the list, and I don't know how I feel. I feel like, yeah. Uh, I, I think about this. Mm -hmm. We are the Dice Cult, and this was, in the last remaining light, your. Saturday Night Horror from the Dice Cult. I'm trying. I'm trying as hard as I can. Uh, there are many shows on the Dice Cult uh, throughout the week, uh, starting with Mondays and Jillian Hello. talking about On the Backs of Gods. I am the DM for Monday nights. Uh, we play a Norse mythology-inspired D&D 5e game. Uh, currently, the party is off trying to fulfill a prophecy and their night has only been filled with terrible horror and nightmare monsters that wish to eat them and kill them and you know just a huge combat that's just taken place and i don't know if they're going to get any sleep tonight is the thing um, so we'll see if they make it to sunrise. It's a bit different than the <laughs> <than> vampire. <laughs> Will they survive the night and see the sun? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but you're welcome to come over and join us Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you'd like to see if I uh, completely wipe the party. <laughs> Maybe I will. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tuesday nights is Legends of Thea at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, uh, Good old fashioned, well, if 5e can be old fashioned, uh, D&D, &D, uh, as much 
fun and drinking as you can handle on a school night. And Wednesdays we have cordially invited, uh, kind of like a fairy tale themed D and D game uh, centered around a royal wedding. Uh, and that is over on Dice Wolf YouTube, where all of these are uploaded. So you can catch up with On the Backs of Gods, In the Last Remaining Light, Legends of the Aea, and Cordially Invited, all there uh, for your binge watching pleasure. Uh, we will see you next Saturday for the next episode of In the Last Remaining Light. Uh, and I am going to press the raid button to Night Prophecies. Yeah. Uh, you have a good evening, man.